Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about getting that summer glow, that JLo glow that everyone wants and loves. Um, and I wanted to throw in some tips in here if you um, are oily like me, um, if you have an oily skin type. I just threw in a few different tips in this video because if you're oily you tend to stray away from like super shiny shimmery products but we can have that JLo glow too without looking like a dewy mess. So I just give you a few different tips on how to stay matte but still have that glowy look to your skin. So if you're interested on how to get this skin situation that I have going on, then stay tuned and let's get on to the video. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off by priming my skin. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth Primer. I just started using this. I got it about a week ago. And it's pretty good. I kind of like it. It kind of reminds me of the Embryolos um, moisturizer and primer, which is pretty expensive. So it's kind of nice that this is a drugstore version. Um, and the reason why you want to prime your skin is you want to blur out any imperfections. You want to kind of make your skin as smooth as possible because if you are going to be... Um, applying like shimmery products shimmery products enhance any texture you have on your skin so you want to make it as smooth as pos as possible so i'm just basically focusing this on my t-zone um and since we are going for that glowy look but i'm oily i have to do certain steps to make sure that my oil is going to be controlled because the second that oil starts to really seep through on top of all underneath all of that glowy product that's when you start to look like a dewy mess <laughs> which brings me to my next step which is foundation i'm going to be using the maybelline fit me um matte and poreless foundation and i'm using a matte finish because like i said we're going to be using a lot of glowy products on top so by having that matte base, it's going to help um, keep that oil controlled and not seep through. Um, so you definitely, if you have oily or even combination skin, I suggest using a foundation that has like a natural to matte finish. By natural, I mean it's not, it's right in the middle. It's not matte, but it's not dewy either. Um, if you have really combination skin, I suggest using a natural finish. But if you have oily skin, definitely use a matte Finish. So I'm going to be using the shade Sun Beige in, that is uh, 310 sun, sun Beige. And I'm just going to put it on my spatula, not my spatula, I always say that, my uh, palette. I have a little stainless steel palette here. And, <gasps> no! I just got foundation on my, my rug, oh my god. My okay, so I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Um, it's pretty self explanatory, but I'm just going to do a nice, even kind of layer all over my face. And I'm going to be using a kabuki type of brush, and then I'm going to press it in um, and get rid of any excess product, any streakiness um, with this Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. So, yeah. Don't forget to take your foundation um, onto your jawline and a little bit onto your neck. Um, you always want to do this because you never, ever, ever want a line right there where you can see where the foundation stopped. You never want that. You always, always, always want to blend onto the neck. I don't care if the foundation matches perfectly. It may match perfectly when you put it on, but if it oxidizes throughout the day, you're always going to have that line there. So always blend it onto the neck. Press everything into the skin. And like I said, this is going to get rid of any extra product that I have on my skin and just smooth out any lines or streakiness or anything like that. Okay. Next step is concealing. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, but I'm not going to go crazy with this because I'm actually going to be doing highlighting and contouring with cream products. I just want to get rid of that darkness right in this area. Um, 
and then I'm going to go over it with a highlighting um, product. So I'm just concealing just to get rid of the darkness. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to use my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. And um, I'm going to use this because when you're going for a super glowy look, you want to use cream products to contour with. It just gives your look, um, your face more of a fresh, kind of more natural contour and it's not so harsh. Um, sometimes when you use powders it can be super harsh. And if you're concerned about all the cream products we're putting on our face, even though we're oily or I'm oily, um, don't worry because powder is going to be our best friend. So um, I'm actually going to add a little bit of beauty oil to my um, contouring palette. The shades that I'm going to be using are um, this one, the yellow one, and this is the medium kit by the way. Um, this one and this one. So I'm just going to put a drop of oil in each one of those little um, colors. And the reason being is because I find this palette a little bit hard to move around. So the product is, it blends, but not as well as it blends when I add oil. And don't be scared to add the oil. You just add a drop and then mix it around with the product. And it's just going to make it so much easier to apply to your face. So I'm just taking the yellow. I worked my brush into the product. And now I'm just going to pat it underneath my eye area and kind of bring it down just a little bit just to brighten up that area again dip it back into the product and then do the same on this eye if you want you can always bring your highlight onto the side of your nose to help create the illusion of a smaller nose um, but I don't really like to do that too much. I do it a little bit, but on my nose, it doesn't really look right. But anyways, I'm going to put this on my chin and my cupid's bow and then down my nose. And on my forehead here. I feel like this is coming off way brighter on camera than it actually is in person. It looks like white on the camera, at least from my little viewfinder, but it's not, I promise. <laughs> so I'm just going to tap this in. The reason why I um, concealed beforehand is because this is not a concealer. This is a highlighting um, product. It's not going to conceal dark circles, it's just going to help bring light to the face. Um, there is a difference between concealer and like a highlighting cream product like this is not meant to really be a concealer. Um, I like layer layering it. Once you blend this product out it's not like does not have like super crazy coverage or anything like that. It's just really meant to just add like light to the face. If you're not oily by the way um, and you want to know how to get that glowy uh, look um, and let's say you're dry, you can add like a liquid illuminator to your foundation to help really bring out that glowy, dewy um, look. Um, you can just add like a drop of a liquid illuminator like um, I know Revlon has some, NYX has some, Becca has some. Um, and by adding that liquid illuminator in with your foundation, it's just going to really make your foundation nice and luminous. Lumin okay, so once I have my highlighter on, I'm actually going to set it right away and start baking. And then I'm going to work on my cream contour. Um, if you are oily, baking is going to be your best friend. And it's really going to lock the face makeup in place. And it's really going to allow you to add a nice um, highlight. Um, on top of your face products and um, help you achieve that glowy look because once you bake your makeup is not going anywhere and it's going to keep you shine free and it's just really going to lock everything in place. I do have a separate video on baking if you are interested. Um, I will link that down below because I'm not going to go into detail with it right now but basically by putting like a thick amount of powder on your face the heat from your skin just kind of melts in with all the products 
and really sets the makeup. So um, I'm going to start by baking underneath my eyes, my chin, and my forehead. You always want to make sure you get a good amount of product out on the cap or um, on, a, on a palette or something, and you're going to want to dip your sponge into that. So before you do that, you are going to want to make sure that you have no creases. And then um, you're just going to put the powder right underneath your eye. And you're going to let it sit there for, um, personally, I don't like to let it sit for 10 minutes. Um, some girls do, um, I mean you can, but I don't know, we'll see how long I keep it on right now. So I'm just putting on my chin, and I'll put a little bit on my Cupid's bow, but nothing nothing crazy okay once you have the powder on now you can go ahead and um, I'm going to take my fit me powder in the same shade that I use in the foundation and I'm just going to run this on like the outer parts of my face where I didn't put the baking powder the that sounds weird where I didn't put the heavy powder I guess I should say so I'm just putting it like where I'm going to contour um, and all that. But I'm not really going in like the hollows of my cheeks right now. I know it looks like I am, but I'm using a big fluffy brush. I'm really going above it because I'm actually going to um, apply a cream contour right there. I don't know why I just did this step before my cream contour, but it's fine. Alright, so I, d I literally use like the smallest amount of this, so I would suggest though using doing your cream product before the powder. I honestly don't know why I just did that, but whatever, it's fine, I'm working with it, <laughs> it's not going to kill me. So I'm just going to take the middle shade on the bottom row of the palette and I'm going to use this brush I got from Ricky's Beauty Supply. And I'm going to use this just to slightly contour my cheeks. I was going to use the darkest shade in the palette, but I honestly don't think I'm going to need to. Um, I'm just going to warn you, though, that this shade is very, very um, warm. So if you're paler than me... You may not like this uh, shade. Alright, and then I don't use this to blend out. I personally don't like to use it to blend out. Um, I'm just going to take actually my foundation brush and use that to blend everything out. And by using a cream product, it just really... Um, to me, it looks more natural, and yeah, I mean, it definitely is an extra step, but, you know, than just using a powder on its own, but if you have the time, I would suggest contouring with cream products. It just, I don't know, I just love the finish that it gives the skin, and what I like about the Anastasia contour kit, the cream one, is that... The creams are not super creamy. They honestly blend out to like almost a powder finish. So, yeah. Okay, once I have my cream contour blended, I'm just going to go over everything with my beauty blender. And now I'm going to dust away my powder underneath my eyes and everywhere else. I am going to um, actually bake a little bit right underneath here just to clean up that contour. Um, I'm not going to go crazy, but I am going to just clean it up just a tiny bit. Just because um, sometimes when you do cream contour, it's hard to really keep it in that nice, precise line.
So as you can see, I just went very light with that. Now I'm going to move on to blush real quick, and I'm going to be using Max Warm Soul. This is a shimmery blush, but it is so pretty if you're going for that summery glow. This is literally the only blush that I ever wear that has shimmer in it. I hate shimmery blush on me, but this is like the only one I can actually get away with wearing. It's so pretty. Um, I heard, though, that they switched the formula, so I'm not sure how good it is now, but it is very pretty, and even though I am oily, for some reason I can get away with wearing this. So I'm going to apply this right to my cheeks. Okay, and now I'm just going to wipe away that extra powder. everything out and now for the fun part the highlighting which is basically the whole point of this video well not the whole point I mean every step that I did contributed to the look in some way so um, anyways I'm going to be taking this jelly pong pong weird name I know jelly pong pong cosmetics liquid uh, gossamer it's weird and it's a liquid illuminator, I don't know the color, ethereal, I think, I don't know. What I like about this is, um, usually I tend to stray away from liquid illuminator illuminators. This actually dries to, um, and completely sets, so it doesn't move around, and once it's set, it like doesn't budge. So I'm going to actually use my finger with this, and this is going to actually act as a base for our powder highlight that we're going to be applying. So you want to apply this right on the tops of the cheeks. And I'm like I said I'm using my finger and then I'm going to take my my sponge and just kind of blend it out. Highlight. And I'm going to put a tiny bit on my nose, a tiny bit on my cupid's bow, and then do the other side. And by keeping the powder just on this area it's gonna help you give that glow, get that glowy look, um, but also it's an area that doesn't usually get oily, so you should be okay. I mean, some people put highlighters throughout their center of their face. I personally can't do that, but if you can, go for it. Um, it's just I'm way, way too oily to be doing that. Okay, and the highlighter that I'm gonna be using is the Makeup Forever. Um, highlighter this is the number two one I'm using this because it's a true gold and I feel like when you're going for that glowy summer look to use more of a gold tone highlighter is gonna help you achieve that summer glow um, if you are paler I would suggest using the other one of this it's more of a silver pink undertone um, if you use the gold, it may come off a little muddy if you're really pale. So I suggest getting the other one. Um, but for me, since I'm kind of tan, um, I like using a gold highlighter in the summer. So I'm going to take my Morphe 510 brush, M510, really get it in there, and apply it to the cheeks. And as you can see, that glow is so pretty. Ow, my dog. <laughs> my dog is scratching at my legs. <laughs> oh my god. Lily, go. If you want, you can put it like above your brows. It just kind of creates the illusion of like higher brow bone. Again, go over the nose and then like right on the bridge of the nose. And then on the cupid's bow. And I hope the camera is really picking up how pretty this glow is because it is so pretty. And I went from flat to now having like a really healthy glow. And that's the best part about using matte products is you can use like a matte foundation but still get a glow. And um... It'll control your oils throughout the day, but you still have like a healthy glow to your skin. So, I hope you can see that. Anyways, that is it for this video. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much 
done. That's how you get nice glowy um, kind of summery skin. I suggest using more warm tone products like I use the warm soul blush that has definitely a very warm tone to it um, and has the gold shimmer. I use the gold highlighter. The cream contour was more of a warm color and it just kind of gives you a nice um, healthy kind of glow and complexion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please stay tuned for another video. I'm actually filming another one right after this on eye makeup so um yeah if you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye guys